rather than a material item even though I do enjoy material items as well but they don't feel as important to me anymore at all and I could lose my backpack and I would just be pissed about having to find a new like, password Hey you beautiful people, my name is Brittany and I'm Slava and today we're going to be doing an interview because, because, <laughs> I'm getting ready to say your name because I think that Clara is so freaking cool Aww. yeah and really special and that what you share with the world is really pertinent to my channel mm -hmm. Clara has a couple of channels on YouTube you have two a German channel and an English channel and what would you say the theme of your channels is most of all mm, well it started with minimalism uh, originally but it kind of spread into self-love self-care and discovering yourself like maybe not shaving or doing whatever like sleeping on the floor like exploring how long would you say that you've been on a more minimalist journey um about one and a half years ago when i started the first channel the english one um yeah i had started maybe a month or two before to be more minimalist <laughs> and how old are you now i'm 21. one thing i love about your videos is how creatively you put your footage together and just um yeah the playfulness that that shines through in your videos and you're welcome <laughs> Did you have video editing background no, before? Absolutely not. Wow. If you see my very first video, which was my makeup that I did one and a half years ago, it was not very well edited. But already back then, I had the idea of making short videos and of incorporating video clips while I'm talking and yes. using music. But I had no idea how to use the program and I learned it through that first, first channel I learned how to edit yeah. with each video. I think that you do a really good job keeping your audience engaged and <laughs> I actually really admire it because especially on minimalist channels I feel like it's kind of important in a way to keep videos shorter and I feel like sometimes I struggle with that so can you tell me more about like your philosophy around that? around short videos yeah and just like keeping people engaged mm. yeah i'm very impatient when i'm watching youtube videos i feel like even though they're super great super interesting i love the people and sometimes i still see those little things that are proposing me other stuff and i'm like oh my gosh i could watch that as well yeah and then i end up not finishing a lot of videos and i realized for myself that the ones i enjoyed looking the most like I enjoyed watching the most and watched till the end while well, the shorter ones where a lot of things happened that were kind of colorful and yeah kept me engaged because you know we're used to having so many distractions yes. and I felt like I wanted to do videos that uh, I was really searching for question more about you personally I'm curious what some of the things you're passionate about are oh man um, I'm very passionate about all that YouTube stuff and developing also um, programs and coaching stuff and helping people a bit more personally but also through the YouTube more massively and being mm -hmm. able to give people the opportunity to get stuff for free that will help them and to inspire and to create a community. I'm also very inspired about um, health Healthy, healthy, healthy living, <laughs> living. Um, but more like not necessarily. I used to be very, very passionate about healthy food and exercising the right amount and blah blah blah. And I feel like right now, what's more great for me is more passionate about really listening to what I really want to do, to what I really want to eat, to what I really want to move my body with without having any like thought of I have to do this in order to be good enough or to be healthy enough or whatever and I feel like I'm very passionate about how the mind works and how that all kind of contributes to the overall being much more than what we do actually with our bodies. Do you feel like this theme of minimalism has sort of like 
that there's been a thread connecting all of these different passions in your life? Uh, well, it did really start with it. Like, I started minimalism and I started following all these people and a lot of minimalists are vegan. Then I started going into that, actually through a video of yours, which was like the turning point for me to go vegan. So I started informing myself even more about that and I went into spirituality much more, wow. which developed a lot in my life and then... So it kind of all started from minimalism, also my view on material items and what I do with my money as well because yeah. I used to buy stuff and to find it much more worth if I bought a, an H&M t-shirt for 5 euros rather than buying a fruit shake for 5 euros <clears throat> that would feel much more worth to me because I would be able to keep that item and to me now it's the other way around, experiencing is much more worth the money um, rather than a material item, even though I do enjoy material items as well, but they don't feel as important to me anymore at all. And I could lose my backpack and I would just be pissed about having to find a new like, password and losing my video footage, but that right. would be the main thing. <laughs> so right now you're traveling full time, right? Yeah. And what are you traveling with? What Do you have just a backpack with you? Yeah, I've got a 28 liter backpack. And where were you living before this? I was living in Germany. But you speak multiple languages. Can you explain this? I mean, besides the fact that you're European and most Europeans are... Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm French and I lived in France for 10 years. And then I moved to Germany when I was 10 with my family. And I've learned English. Like, I've learned French and German, obviously, because of the land I was on, but I learned English just through reading and watching a lot of very basic American series. Okay, so I guess my last question is what's, what are you feeling most excited about pursuing coming up and like what are some glimpses of 2017, what's it looking like for you so far? Um, well, I'm excited about um, traveling some more because Thailand is not the last place where I will go. Um, meeting even more of those amazing people. Um, I'm excited about starting to coach and starting to incorporate more shadow sides into my channel as well. Yes. Um, yeah, and also excited to see what the next move is as well in terms of education and what I want to learn. I have a lot of things. I'm excited about a lot of things. And even coming coming back to my parents for a short amount of time and minimalizing even more yes. because here I got to meet so many people that are like hardcore. <laughs> yeah, we're in Thailand right now and there's some really inspiring minimalists around. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm gonna put your links in the description below and so people can find you and all that good stuff. Is there anything else you wanna share with people before we end the interview? Um, um, I, I think I'm good. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, <laughs>